Hey there, happy day 32. Um, we're gonna go with a leg focus today for our weighted segment. And then remember, we're doing weights for 20 minutes and then um, a power finish for five. So um, let's run through. Um, our quick warm up is gonna be um, basically what we're gonna end up being doing for our weighted sets. Um, I'm gonna use my 20s if you have something a little heavier. Uh, that works for some of the, you know, leg moves, go for it. But for now, just start with a warm up. So body weight, we're not going to use any weights. And we're going to do a deadlift. So core contracts, chest nice and tall. With a deadlift, you're going to want to have your knees soften. You're going to hinge your butt back. The back stays flat. And the reason I have my thumb and first finger here, so thumb underneath your lower rib, your last rib, and then your uh, finger on the top of your hip bone is so that you can make sure that there's no collapsing as you hinge forward. So there's no bringing together that uh, low rib and that hip bone, right? So there, we're not rounding in the back at all. We're pushing the butt back, the back drops forward. You're always contracting deep across your abdomen. And the biggest deal is also then coming to the top and getting that big butt flex and grab at the top. All right, so let's just go five more here. Chest tall, core strong. We're gonna be doing 20 reps today with our weights. So it is a little bit higher in the rep department. Last one. Next up, we're gonna go a sumo squat, super duper wide. And then based on how long it takes us to get through that first set, we may have time for a second set. We might just dump reps for uh the second set who knows we'll see but we only have 20 minutes to get through all the weights knees out with toes with your sumo squat sitting back nice and deep sumo means a lot wider right with your knees with your toes you're getting a lot more into that inner thigh pressing through the heels getting into the glutes to come up okay we're going to stay basically in that position and we're going to do a static lateral lunge so your toes will come in just a bit based or from where they were with your sumo squat and then you're going to head over to the right come up then we're going to go straight back into that right side butt goes back as it drops to the side knee lines with the toe last one got to keep that core super solid here and i'll be holding a weight like a goblet up at the chest just one of them Sitting nice and deep. When you press up out of that heel, kind of feel the knee pull out toward the pinky toe side of the foot. So you want to get that straight, strong leg. Quads are strong at the top, but make sure you're not hyper extending the knee. So there should be a small little bend at the top, but that other leg is going to stay totally straight, totally straight. All right, we're going to do a single leg deadlift. So for us, they're called drinking birds without the weights. You find that same hinge that we talked about with a regular deadlift. However, uh, for a single leg, obviously you're on one leg and you also wanna really, really watch that your hips stay level as that one leg goes up. So the, the side with the straight leg is fixed, right? You're not over lifting the leg behind you. three, we got two more, drive through that heel, flex through the glute, squeeze between the shoulder blades, core strong. The more you bend that knee, then the more you're going to feel through the glute pushing you up and out. All right, then we have a weighted glute bridge. So we'll just go a regular one for now. All right, push up through those glutes. Drop and drive. So we'll have one weight, setting it right on the hips. And we'll get that going to just kind of weight us up or weight us down for those glute bridges. All right, tuck your knees into the chest. Check into that low back. Make sure you're doing good there. If at any point your low back starts to grab, just lower your weight, adjust your range, check in with your core contraction. And especially on your deadlifts, um, we've been finding that if you just take a little wider stance, 
you might feel a little bit better um, in the low back with that with that deadlift. All right, so here we go. 20 minutes. We're going to start with our deadlifts, 20 reps. Here we go. If you want, you can start lighter weight as well. And then as you continue to warm up, then you can go heavier. Hand your hips back. Flex through the glute to get to the top. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. So keep your chest lifted up off the ribcage. Feel your booty. Do that push to the top. Ten more. Ground through the four corners of the feet. Keep that core strong. Seventeen. Drive through those heels. Twenty. All right. The weights are going to come to the center. So you're going to have your arms still down, going into our sumo squat. Get your knees nice and wide. Here we go. 20 reps. Core super strong. Remember the heavier that you're going with weight, that selection of weight, the heavier that is, the slower your reps will end up being. And that's okay. This is 10. Get those knees out with the toes. Hinge those hips back and down. Belly strong. You need that core to protect the low back. 18, 19, and 20. All right. Next up, we have that static lateral lunge. I'm going to shoot for all 20 on one side before I switch to the other. But if you want to divvy it up, into like two sets of 10, that's totally fine. All right, I'm gonna hinge to my right ear left first. Hinge over, press up. Drive to that heel. Core strong. Feel those different places that you're pushing out of in the different moves, right? How does this feel different than that sumo squat? We're still getting that knee out wide. Where are we displacing? Where are we pushing the weight? Where are we driving from with that one leg straight? Feels good. I think this is 12. <clears throat> Build that heat in the legs, those glutes. Don't rush it. Sit into the heat. Nineteen and twenty. All right, other side. Make sure you're holding that core. Knee lines with the toe. Other leg stays straight. Watch it. That one knee is going to want to fall in. Keep it pulling out toward the pinky toe side of the foot. The bending knee is going to want to fall in. I feel this in my upper middle back as well, which is good. It's where the weight is. As we hinge forward, What's gonna have to support it? That upper middle back. Of course, if you need to lower it, that's fine. You can hold here, kind of like we did with our sumo squat. 
can always go body weight as well. Final three. Dig through that glute. Knee lines with the toe. Belly strong. And one. All right. Those are feeling good. Moving on to single leg deadlift. 20 each side. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shoot to hold both my weights. Traditionally, you hold just on the opposite arm. It does kind of throw you off balance a little more, so feel free to go with that if you'd like. Dig through that heel on the supporting leg. Lots of core. Five. Think about everything, that whole body. You're working it all, but really push through that hamstring, supporting hamstring and glute. Draw the belly button up and in. There's 10. Your range is up to you. If your back starts to round, do not touch the ground. You stop when your shoulder blades are wanting to round out. Core strong, core strong. 17, drive through that heel. 19, 20. All right, I'm just gonna set it down, check in. All right, other side. For me, my right leg. Shoulders back and down. Find your balance. So look at a spot on the floor that's not moving. That will help keep your balance. Focus on stability in that leg. Eight. Ten. This is my side I've got to focus on. It's a little weaker, so it wants to do different things to compensate. So I'm watching it. Focusing. This is 15. Reach the chest up off the ribs. Eighteen, getting that left leg up and back. One more. Twenty, perfect. All right, lie down on the ground. Grab your one weight. We're gonna do weighted glute bridges. If you can hold both of them, go for it. I'm gonna see how I do with the one, three, find big flexion in those glutes. Eight, line your knees and your hips. So there should be no bigger gap up where your knees are than down where your crotch is. Belly stays strong. Push with the glutes, not your low back just arching. Give me three more. Two and one. All right. Flip it around. Give me a quick downward facing dog. Pedal those feet, flush through the upper back. Come on up, give me a couple standing cat cow. All right, we've got time for our full other round. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I love it when it works out. 
Okay, we have our deadlifts. Grab your weights, shoulders back and down. Get your stance, whatever yours is, if it's right under the hips or a little wider. Core strong. Ready, set, let go. Sticking with those 20 reps. Feel your butt push you up. It locks into place at the top without overpressing your pelvis. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. So it's like your elbows are pointing to the back of the room. Five to go. Chest tall. Remember, keep space between that low rib and your hip bone. Nice job. All right, sumo squats. Get nice and wide. Grab those weights. Get your knees out with toes. Let's go. Three. Check in with those knees. Keep them out with those toes. Five. Sit your butt back and down. Watch your upper middle back. Ten. Grab that core a lot, a lot. Keep it up. Feel that work. 18. Drive through the heels. Chest tall. 20. All right. Get one out of the way. One weight. And we're going to do our static side lunge. Ooh. Getting that heart rate up. All good. All right, ready? We're gonna hinge over, set, go. Doing great. Five, sit those hips back and down. Six, that other leg stays super straight. Nine, there's 10, halfway. If you wanna switch, you can, or finish with me on this side, then we'll switch to the other. 14, sit in it a second. 16, hips go back and down, looking good. 20, other side, and straight in, find that knee and toe, try to keep flexion and tension at the straightening at the top, so don't lock out the knee and take the work off that thigh, chest tall, core strong, but back and down. You're looking for a lot of hinge in that moving side. Hinge back deep. 10. Keeping it up, keeping it up. Oh. 15. Shoulders back and down. Four strong. Two to go. Drive out of that heel. Don't back out of the move. Making the best yet. Whew. All right. Bringing it up. 
Shake it out. All right, moving into our single leg deadlifts. Okay, line those feet straight ahead. Balance onto the one leg. Keep that foot in constant hold, right? So sometimes I see people shift off the weight. You can tap to help balance, but don't shift off of the majority of that weight being on your supporting leg. Seven. Eight. Feel it right where I want it. Just through that hamstring and right up into that glute, right at the bottom of the glute. Oh, that knee wants to shift around. Try to control it. It's where we're trying to work through those discrepancies, weaknesses. Build the muscles that are weak. That's what happens when we go with this single leg stuff. Seventeen. Whew. Nineteen. Oh, Twenty. Oof. All right. Other side. Find that spot. Focus on it. Three. Starts to also get into those stability muscles that are controlling, holding those weights. Your grip, your back, stabilizers in the shoulder. Be in control of those weights. Eight. Four strong. Ten to go. Straight, strong back leg. Four strong. Drive the belly button back toward your spine. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty to go. Shift back. Woo! Drive through. Down. Oh, stay in it. Perfect. All right. We have our weighted glute bridge next with two minutes to go. So our twenty-minute weighted round is over. All right. I'm gonna shoot for both this time. See how it goes. All right. Get your set up. Remember, we don't want those knees to get any wider than the hip joints. Three. Seven, find the balance between that core, grabbing, tucking, tailbone back underneath your knees. Flex those glutes and hamstrings. Five to go. Squeeze in deep with those glutes. One, hold it up, hold it, hold it with the weights. Grab into those glutes. Shaking's good. Fine flexion. You're gonna hold 20 more seconds. Come on, push through, push through. Find the flex, find the heat, the intensity. Last 10. 
three, two, and one. Okay, wow. <laughs> Weighted blue bridges. All right, we hit it, our 20. Well done. Ah. Okay, so for our power finish, that's where we're really gonna drive the heart rate up, that's our goal. So for that, we're gonna do a Tabata. Okay, it's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. However, uh, we are gonna do, um, oh, normally it's eight rounds, but we're gonna do 10 rounds for five minutes. And we're gonna do plank jacks and jumping jacks. Okay, so if you don't do plank jacks, if planking doesn't work for you, then do kind of, we did these yesterday as an alternate. So I'm gonna just have you keep that going. Okay, and then instead of, since you're already doing that, if a regular jumping jack doesn't work, I'm gonna have you stay in your low squat, tap out, same leg. Okay, then the next round, you'll do the other one. So we'll go back and forth. Five rounds, I'm sorry, five of each, 10 total. First up are our plank jacks. All right, so five minute power finish, remember? Ultimate go, pushing hard, ready, set, plank jacks first, go. Tuck that tailbone, find flexion in the glutes. Push, push, push. Three, two, one. All right, push so that you need the break. Three, two, jumping jacks next, go. How many can you get? Try not to pace, try to wear out. There's two, eight to go. Plank jacks next or your alternate. Ready, set, go. Push, push, push. Don't back off the pace. Time. Jumping jacks next. Go. Keeping the core solid. Come on. Up and down and up and down. Good job, good job. Ready, plank jacks, go. In and out fast. Don't let your pace back off. Come on, keep it jumping. Tight core. Jumpy jacks, remember, heart rate up. That's her goal. You can count your reps and then you'll know you're keeping pace. That's the point. Meet or beat your reps every time. Ready, set, go. You got it, you got it. Done. Whew. I got two a second. 
Ready, set, jumping jacks. Come on, I got more, I got more. Come on, you've got it. Dig deep. Woo! Yay! All right, I made my number. Now it's jumping jacks. Last one. Go. Fine. What pushes the intensity? Don't get lost in a floating jump. Oh. Oh. All right. On your back, on your mat. Quick stretch. We won't have as long of a stretch on these days in the video, but I think hopefully by now you might know what to do. All right, glute bridge, or I'm sorry, figure four. I can't talk. Whew. Pull it in, flex those feet. Felt good. I don't know that that was my favorite power finish I've ever had before, but it accomplished its goal. Switch sides, other side, figure four. Got my heart rate up. Sometimes my watch, I can guarantee, <laughs> counts the heartbeat wrong. <sighs> All right, <clears throat> both legs straight up. Grab behind your thighs or your calves, or you can get your ankles, whatever. Should feel good. The stretch should feel good. Getting into the backs of your hamstrings. But push. Check in with your hip bones. Push that pelvis and your hip bones into the ground. See if you can drive them in any deeper. All right. Roll it up. Extend your legs kind of out wide. So you're creating a big V. Pull the toes up. And then just walk your arms forward wherever. You feel that stretch as far as you can get. And some of us may be up here, hands behind the back. That's fine. You find the stretch that you like how it feels. Try to push the backs of the knees toward the ground. All right, turn it over. Give me a quick down dog. We're gonna stretch through the calves. All those lovely plank jacks and jumping jacks. So once you're in your downward facing dog, wrap one foot behind the other heel, pushing the heel toward the ground. Drive those hips back. Switch to the other side. Walk your hands back. Up we come. All right. Good work. I'm excited to see how my legs feel tomorrow. <laughs>